Hello everyone, how are you? What a difference a day makes. Um, it's hard to believe that we were sweltering yesterday and now I'm in my raincoat in the garden and it's literally wet but the garden needs it. And that actually brings me to the subject of this week which is growing for well-being. It's growing for well-being week. So tomorrow's newsletter is all going to be looking at all the specific reasons why in particular growing is so good for our mental health. So we all know that being outside and being in the green, in the garden, in the countryside is good. But what specifically about growing is so good? So I just wanted to bring you to my little veg patch and show you how proud I am of um, my little goodies and I'll take you through what I've got in here. Do share your stories if you've also got things growing and um, I hope you enjoy the newsletter tomorrow. Okay, so here's the garden. So here I've got tomatoes, I've got tomatoes from seed and I've specifically got outdoor tomatoes so um, they don't need to be in the greenhouse because I tried them in the polytunnel last year but the brambles grew over the top, I don't think it got enough light and they didn't do too well so here we go, we've got tomatoes in the middle, we've got the lettuce so that's coming nicely, it's really perked up with this rain even though I've been watering so there are the tomatoes, we've got two different types we've got this, this this is, in fact, I need to tie these up now because they're starting to fall over. This is the sort of standard one, but there's this one as well. So it'll be interesting to... It's sort of a lucky dip, my style of growing. I never really know what's going to come until the fruit, and that's what makes it so exciting. Here we've got shallots. They ran out of onion sets at the garden centre at the beginning of lockdown. So we only had one bag of shallots. I've never grown them before. But I think they're doing quite well. And I, could say, I was reading last night that... Once these start going over and then start going brown, it's the time to pick them. So hopefully they won't be too long. And then over here we've got bulbs of garlic that we had in the kitchen, which I literally just put the cloves in. And my dad said they should have been planted in the winter, but we seem to be doing okay. So that's the garlic. And then down here we have courgettes, my favorite things. I zoom in here. You can see in here the little ones coming with the flower. Um, and we've got four courgettes, they should grow and grow. They did get a bit cold when they, I first planted them out. We had that frost, didn't we? And this one isn't looking quite so strong, but it should come. And then here we've got my exciting, this was just from a seed in the compost from one of our squashes that we had in our veg box. I'm really excited to see if it will fruit and what it will be taste like. And then these, how impressive are these? Potatoes, I've never grown potatoes. And I just had, you might have seen a few months ago, I had some in the kitchen that I just seeded. So I thought I'm just gonna put them in. And in fact, this bit of the um, veg patch is in the shade in the afternoon. So I don't tend to plant down here, but they've thrived. And the little flowers have come out from yesterday, although they've closed now. So when they start going brown, I think, then the tubers, the potatoes will be ready to plant. So it's all very exciting. And I'll be telling you exactly why watching things grow and looking after plants really helps with mental health, with depression, anxiety. I'm quite an anxious person. I run quite high. So um, anything to keep me calm, be in the moment, take the worries of the day away, I find really beneficial. In fact, I was out here weeding last night and I felt great. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed seeing my veg patch and I'd love to see some pictures of yours too. Um, so uh, have a lovely cosy evening. I'm lighting the fire now and it's like winter. Anyhow, I'll see you next week. Take care.